All right, guys, this is Matt Beck from freesaloneducation.com, and we are on the road with Millennium Systems International, right? So we're going to discuss yep. the name change from, is it, it was Harm Software. Yes, right? it was Harm Software. Yep. So now we're uh, Millennium Systems International with John Harms, founder, and uh, Bob McConey. And we're going to discuss Bob's official position. <laughs> I, I'm not here to tell you what that is. So, <laughs> um, so we're gonna. What I want to talk about first is uh, I want to thank you guys for having me here. And um, we talked about it on the podcast this morning. We do a podcast for hairdressers called Splitting Hairs, and it's we do it every week. And uh, we just sit around. We talk about celebrity hair changes and all kinds of stuff. So uh, we did talk about some things that are coming up with Millennium. So I want to go over that real quick uh, during this time, and then uh, and then yeah, we'll go from there. But let's start off. Uh, and I guess I'll kind of toss this towards both of you, but I want to talk about when you, I guess, John first, mm -hmm. when you were first thinking about um, creating software, right? Um, was that something that you were passionate about from the beginning or how did it develop? Yeah, uh, basically, uh, the, the passion for software uh, happened when I got my hands on a computer and, and uh, Back then, didn't have internet. So yeah, I was going to say, what did that computer look yeah, like? Yeah, well, well, it, it hooked <laughs> to the television. Yeah, it hooked to the television, first of all. Okay. And then you would go to the library and copy down lines of code because you didn't go on Google. Right. There was no Google. Right. So I'd write down all these lines of code, go back, crank them into my computer, see what they did, watch what would happen if I changed things on that code. And I just fell in love with it. Um, wow. So yeah, I was about 16 when I started teaching myself how to code. Okay. And then, so basically for hairdressers out there, coding is, is just, uh, it's what tells the computer, right? What to do. Yeah. Writing a bunch of gibberish that then makes cool things happen. <laughs> right. So everything cool that they're playing with their iPhones, everything, it all comes from words, yep. right? Words and software. And then when, when you get down to the basics, ones and zeros, right. that's it. Okay. So, um, so tell me about, so you developed, you decided to develop software. Why was that? So basically to pay for college. I mean, I was okay. coming, I was uh, a senior in high school, um, was going to be, I got a partial scholarship to college for computer science. Um, my sister was a stylist and long story short, they needed software. And uh, that was the first salon I ever wrote software for. It was called the Village Salon in Tannersville, Pennsylvania and helped pay for okay. one semester of college. Nice. So how, so tell me, so your sister was a hairdresser. Mm -hmm. I remember when I, when I first started at the salon I worked at 10 years ago, um, we didn't have software and I begged and begged for them to get software. And the owner was like, I, I don't even know how I can deal with that. Was your sister totally up for it when you decided you were going to create it? I can imagine if it was coming from a sibling, you'd be more into it than, you know, just some young stylist telling the owner to get. Not something. really. Yeah. No? <laughs> yeah. I would love to say that. No. I mean, she knew that I was pretty capable and um, was excited about me starting to write software for the industry she was in. But um, but honestly, she w if you think back to 1987, which is the year this would have been, um, very few people were computerized at all. Right. You know, there wasn't even Excel really yet. There wasn't next to anything. So the thought of doing any appointment booking or color formula tracking on a computer was pretty pretty out there, believe it or not, at that time. So she um, you know really knew probably didn't even fully understand what I was going to go there and do, to right. be honest with you. Well, and that's what is so interesting to me, I guess, because I, I love creating some kind of company. So, like, I look at the fact that in 1987, people didn't even have computers in their houses, let alone right software in their salon. So right. what in the world in your mind was thinking, yeah, I'll create salon software, and maybe we can get computers into yeah. salons, and then we can get software. So uh, I can only imagine. So my next question would be, and I know anybody starting a company or a salon or anything, when they're looking at doing that, and the first year, the second year, it's all a struggle. So was it a struggle? What, what made you keep going through it and to develop what you have at Millennium today? Uh, the great thing is I was 18 years old. I was young. Right. Uh, there was no uh, thought in my head that I couldn't do this or that everybody in the world wouldn't want what I was going to create. And that's right. the beauty of being young. Um, it, you know, I can't imagine doing what I did 25 years ago today uh, and taking that risk. So for me, it wasn't even risk. It's something I loved. And the thought, I remember thinking how amazing it would be that I could actually do something I loved and make money. Right. You know, and then you, you start small. I hope it can help pay for college. Then it, I hope it would help me buy a house someday. And then, and, and then you hit a point, which we'll get to in a second on why we changed the name of the company okay. when it really becomes more about everybody else uh, than yourself. But at the beginning, it's just about, man, I just want to be able to eat and you exactly. know, have a house. Yeah. All right. Great. So, and then, so Bob, 
So let's get into Bob here. So Bob came along when? So 1987, 1987 you were? 96, 97? 1996. And he actually was one of the early adopters back when I was building this, even though he wasn't using um, Salon Solutions, it was called at the time. Okay. He was actually an early adopter to computers in the salon, yeah. which was very unusual. Yeah. Salon Solutions was what you were calling the it? The first product I wrote was called okay. Salon Solutions. All right, cool. I was, I was automated for about two or three, maybe three years prior to, to meeting John. Okay. But an old DOS system, which was really limited in its capabilities, but uh, that's how I got into it. And so you, but you have an interesting story too, because your family's all, Yep. Right? Uh, I grew up in the industry since 61. My mother had salons. She, I forget what year she graduated, uh, Wilford Academy in the Bronx, New York. <laughs> okay. And I remember that because I remember going there as a kid uh, and eating donuts, waiting for her to get out of the classes. So I used to go. That's how far back my memory goes with that. But it was interesting. But yeah, she, uh, as as we grew up, there's three. I have two other brothers. She raised all three of us on the beauty industry. She were, you know, we're kind of alone. So she went to school, got a degree in, in style, got her license, and okay. started working. And that's how I got involved, little by little. And then you, I heard that you got married, and yep. and that's how your first salon came so, about, right? Yeah, I got married and. Um, uh, my mother at, at my wedding didn't really give us a wedding gift. She says, don't worry, I'm going to take care of you. And then a uh, little while later on, uh, she had built, uh, she was in the process of building salons in New Jersey, and she built a really big one down South Jersey called Shampoo. Okay. And then uh, she said, here's your, your wedding gift. And she gave me an old senior citizen Washington suit, <laughs> brown paneling, four station, the big beehive type dryer. Right. And I'm in construction. I don't know anything about <laughs> running a business in a salon. My yeah. wife's just getting out of cosmetology, so that's how... Yeah, I'm sure you're. You were super excited about it, but yeah. look what it was scary. It was scary going into a business I knew nothing about. I was right. building at the time, and then uh, little by little, I started going to trade shows, and um, I got a software, and then uh, then I met John. Okay, so then John, why? When did you change the name to Millennium from? Salon, what was it? Salon Solutions. Okay. So Salon Solutions is the first product that I uh, originally wrote 100% on my own. Okay. And that uh, was until 1999. And then with the new millennium coming, I, uh, we needed to, we, I started to write with a, a couple other people um, collaborating now to create something even bigger and better than Salon Solutions. So I decided to call it Millennium because it was coming to the year 2000. Everything was about, you know, the new millennium. Okay. So that's, uh, and I also wanted to get away from anything that specifically spoke to only a, a certain industry because I knew we were going to be selling to spas and medical spas. And, you know, even though salons have always been our sweet spot, you know, people that in a spa don't want to buy something called Salon Solutions necessarily. Right. So okay. it was a generic name that allowed us to um, really hit the beauty industry as a whole. Nice. Um, and then what do you, so let's talk about you change the name. Mm -hmm. So I want to the name of the company, the name of the company, yeah. right? So it's still millennium, but now it's systems international. Well, right? the company was harm software. And so the, the, the real story behind that is uh, I started talking about it about four or five years ago is, you know, as we went from 10 people to 30 people to 50 people to a hundred people, um, and keeping that culture tight that's so important to us and trying to make it a place that I'd still want to come to work at if I didn't own it right? Um, it was really important to me. So as we continue to grow, I realized that this harm software really started to bother me because I wrote Salon Solutions all on my own. You know, Millennium, uh, I wrote half of it probably, and the new system that's coming out, Mevo, I wrote next to nothing in it. Okay. So it's really about the team, and, yeah. and I wanted to portray that. Um, so, and everybody started to know us as millennium, millennium, millennium anyway. So I said, it's not about harms. It's not about me. It's about the company. So we changed the name to millennium systems international. And that's the thing that I've always loved about, um, hanging out with everyone from millennium, because <laughs> I feel like I've been to the experience a couple of times, which we'll talk about in a little bit, but, um, I just feel like that was kind of, it's my thought process as well as why I never named my salon, the Matt Beck salon or um, anything I do. You don't really see my name on it so much because I feel like it is about, it takes more than just one person. Yeah. I'm not the only one here today, you know, and, and it's just, there's a whole team behind it. So I love that um, you guys have a company like that and, and that's what it's become, especially after, as it's growing. Right. It's like it's growing and it's gotten to this big and now you're like, you know what, I'm going to take harms out of it because yeah. it's huge. Yeah. yeah. You know, yeah. so normally they'd make their name bigger on it. So I think that that's Yeah, cool. no, it's, it's really all about everybody else here that works so hard and, 
and you know again early on with Bob coming on board you know just the relationships he's been able to build you know I'm I'm a software guy um, I always joke around that I'm um, schizophrenic because <laughs> I can actually really hang out with hairdressers and understand them so the right brain right but the left brain I write code so you know I write <laughs> software so that's impressive somebody like yeah, Bob crazy. that that is just Mr. <laughs> relationship um, and just understands the industry has been you know a big piece of you know getting our company to where it's gotten as well well I know in every event I've been to I see Bob and he's always mingling with everyone so yeah I, it's I cool love that, I love yeah the industry. So the, for me, the, it's, it's not work the right. funniest thing is when they walk past me yeah, oh, and they go up and go hey it's bob <laughs> harms and that's so true. bob so harms bad. and they go right bob, by me i love your company what you're doing with it he's like it's my company no i don't ever say that <laughs> but the bob harms part bob harms yeah. that is fun that's hilarious we get, we get mail addressed to bob harms yeah it's nice he loves that yeah. oh that's great so i guess last couple questions this one's important to me because I have I have a, a young kid, and um, I I know that you have children and you have mm-hmm. your children are here, and yeah. so tell me throughout this this venture, how did you find the balance between the career and being at home, mm-hmm. or or just all that stuff? I think everybody's gonna that's listening to this is gonna have that same thing. Even as a hairdresser, the hours yeah. that you got to do Saturdays are your best day. Um, so it, it's it's tough sometimes. Uh, definitely early on, my wife was very understanding. Yeah. Uh, she used to. We were just joking around. She used to bring broccoli and gavadillos to the office at ten o'clock yeah. when we were there, and I'm coding and he's testing <laughs> and eating. And <laughs> and <laughs> eating. Um, so it, you know, it, I think with uh, even for the hairdressers and the owners out there, it's uh, we all do the best we can do. And I think the thing that's best for me is to involve my family in it uh, yeah. to an extent where, you know, the only thing is is my wife will tell you that dinner yeah. becomes kind of boring because now it's all about the company yeah. sometimes but uh, yeah you know what that's I like hear but, that, yeah but um but that's that you know the balance is is important but uh finding time for my family i, I mean, anybody that knows me knows i'm all about my family yeah so i mean i usually see a piece of family with you at yeah. all times yeah. so it's cool um okay last couple questions what excites you the most about technology and i actually have a really good idea that i want to pass along <laughs> to you but i don't know if i should tell you in private i was telling that uh, on the way up i'm like maybe we don't want other people to know this idea but what what excites yeah. you the most about what's happening with technology now okay so uh, Technology is changing in a really cool way, especially for the beauty industry, because if you think about the way software used to look, you know, you look at spreadsheets and you just look at these kind of gray looking screens. They actually called it Battleship Gray, you know, the old uh, windows. And what's exciting is the tools that they're offering up to developers now allow like a graphics designer to create something absolutely, absolutely beautiful. And then we code around that. So what's great and exciting in technology for me is um, the cloud and being able to pull all these different things we used to do in 20 different spots, including accounting and social media and marketing and and running my business into one yeah. solution. So that's exciting. But the most exciting part of it for what we do here is the beauty of what we're able to create now. Right. Yeah, absolutely. I agree 100% with it. The way we're creating our new software with Nevo, uh, I got I got a chance to play with it. I just took it to a show just to debut it. And it's just a amazing, beautiful product that people want to touch. It actually right. wants, you want to come up to it and just start touching it. Well, anymore, it's more, it's it's probably, I would say, 70% about the look of it. Yeah, yeah. And then, right. then the functionality. And what I like is mm-hmm. that you guys haven't, this was two years ago, I know you were talking about Mevo and, yep. and doing a kind of a, a soft launch of it. Yep. And it was... It's you're perfecting it, yeah. and mm-hmm. that's it's not like it's full blown, you know, just get it out there to get it out there. I mean, I my favorite thing is I've had um, companies contact me about software, obviously, I won't name who that is, but um, you know, I'll start asking them questions because they'll get me on the phone, and uh, and they just don't they don't understand the guts of what software is. It's right. about education, it's about teaching your because who cares if you can put a frequency of visit number in your software, or if you can't teach people what it is and what right. it's all about, right. then it doesn't matter. So um, very, very cool. Oh, and my idea is if you have, oh, oh. so Google glasses, Shh. right? So I'm thinking, well, what if I had Google glasses on and my client walks in, I can totally tell who she is, what her formula is. And it's all telling me right in my glasses, right? Yeah. Right. I, you know, what's funny. I'm, I'm, everybody thinks like I would just be like that total technology guy. Yeah. I don't have a Facebook. <laughs> I, I write my notes on that. notepads, sticky like pad, little yeah. sticky pads, right. like, and I will never wear no, Google glasses. Like, I won't I'm just, either. I'm just, that is a very cool idea. And, and, and the watch stuff that's happening, um, 
you know, for me though, I think I think I even have my limits. You know what? At the end of the day, I'm more in love with the business of beauty than the technology, to be quite right. honest. And Which I think that's good. been part of our success as well. Exactly. You recently graduated to your calendar on your phone. We're very. I actually you, so. just in that's the last impressive. couple of weeks actually no. am using Outlook on my smartphone yeah. now. Okay. Yes. Yes. All I'm, right. I'm advanced. <laughs> okay, so let's. Um, what's coming up with Millennium Systems International? Anything big? You want to talk well, about our big thing is really uh, the whole company is revolving around Mevo. I yeah. mean, um, and you're right. Uh, if you look at what happened with the healthcare.gov and all the stuff, if you rush this stuff, yeah, y- y- you can fail, and, and and that's just not an option for us. So we've had this thing in testing. We've uh, we've been you know building the product, adding to it, making it faster, making it better, uh, and so we're really excited about the the full blown launch of it in one month. Okay. So in one month oh, it'll be exciting. out in. And we'll have full. You Is know, there a start specific date on that? March first. Oh, so, really? Yep, we're boarding people, and uh, it's for real. All right, very very <laughs> cool. Okay, so uh, so that's exciting, and then we have the experience coming up. So, do you want to just talk about what's going to be really cool there? Well, Bob's going to be the keynote. We didn't tell him yet. Oh, okay. Geez. And so everybody knows how much I love to be Congratulations. Because Bob loves, Bob, Bob <laughs> lo- loves to speak in public. Bob uh, Harms public. will be up there. All you right. want to see somebody faint on stage, have me keynote. <laughs> yeah, we might actually do that as an opener. Oh, that would be great. <laughs> so see, Bob's, Bob's good you one-on-one one with people. I'm good in front of a lot of people. Yep. I'm not good one-on-one. See, on now, one, so. I'm the opposite. Yeah, yeah. I'm, you put me in, in front of 5,000 people, and I'm, you know, uh, I can maybe. be inspirational. And I come right. off stage, and they come and meet me, and like, this guy's boring. Uh, I will yeah. faint. Yeah, exactly. I've done it once. No, experience, we're very excited about it. We do it every year, as you know. And people go not knowing really what it's about it really is the probably the in my opinion one of the most well-rounded uh events in our industry right. where you're getting the the business side of it the fun side of it hair shows people like yourself that are speaking we don't bring in people that talk that don't understand our industry so right. someone like you someone like robert someone real like people, uh you know people, uh, people that really get our industry and um and um I think the reason our software is as good as it is and our companies where it's at is we listen to our customers. So when we're at the experience also, as much as we're giving, we're listening and getting exactly. feedback and making the product better. So the experience for us is uh, something we looked we, we we look forward to, but at the same time, it's just so much it's to put big, on that yeah. kind of, of an event. Yeah, you guys have a busy few months coming. But, uh, oh, but yeah, yeah, it's, it's six, exciting. Seven-month project. So yeah, we. Uh, I was telling everybody on our, our podcast this morning that Every time that I've been there, the thing that I love about it most is not a hair. It's not a hair show of five thousand people where you can't get close to the artist. It's a very intimate, um, you know, a thousand people. Yep. Very intimate. Everyone feels we're all having lunch together, and yep. uh, I just love. I love everything about when the event. When you leave there, you so. leave with a lot of new friends. Exactly, right? and, and, and I'm a business pr- mind. And I'm pretty proud of the the caliber of people that go. If you think about the people that go there, it's really the people that uh, want. Uh, to learn more about the business of beauty and the hair side of it too, and listen yeah. to somebody like you. But what you're, what's great about you, and I'll give you a plug though, is what I love about when Matt's at our conference is that, you know, he's cutting hair, he's explaining uh, the style side of it, but at the same time talking about business retention, style. frequency of visit. So you, um, that's what our conference is really about. Yeah, that's awesome. And we, and it's funny because your conference is the first one I've been to where it's at a resort. And mm-hmm. at noon, you go to the pool, yeah. and no one's there. Yeah, yeah, yeah. it really is. Yeah. Like they're actually loaded in the classes. So yep. I'm Capacity. excited to to see what's going on this year, and I'm sure there'll be more to come from that. Um, do you guys have anything else you want to? It's June. I'd have you plug your Facebook, but oh, don't yeah. forget. What is it? To the twenty fourth. Twenty second to the twenty fourth. We'll be posting it oh, all yeah. over. The Millennium Experience. I'll, I'll put a big, big, huge ad on the front of our website and everything. So um, thank you guys so much. I always uh, I love being here. Honestly, I just got away from the salon so that I could be here. Well, we we love but, when you, when they tell us you're coming. Everybody gets excited. It's <laughs> <That's so>. funny. <laughs> so uh, thank you guys so much. Check out Millennium SI right dot com yep. now. Okay, yes. I thought so. I didn't want to mess it up this morning, but <laughs> so Millennium SI dot com. Uh, check them out on Facebook as well. Follow us on Facebook. Free salon education and. Uh, that's it. Great. No thank you. No plugs on the, the Facebook or the Twitter. Or yeah, I don't, I, I don't have it. <laughs> All right, guys. Thank you so much for watching, and we'll see you on the next episode. Today, everything changes. Hello, world. Meet Mevo. Meet Mevo.